Hey everyone, welcome back to our orthographic projection series. I know it's been a little while, but I got caught up with the isometric series and um, I need, I really, really needed to get it done. Alright, but we are back on track and let's get into it. Also, I noticed that about 90% of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you are watching this, Please subscribe and hit the like button, it helps the channel a lot. Alright, so let's get into it. So we have two orthographic projections here. The one on the right is a simpler display and on the left we have a more complicated orthographic drawing. But you'll see that they're really the same thing. So as usual, we have our front elevation at the top that I'm circling right now, and it's above the plan. All right, this is first angle projection, and the side elevation or end elevation always goes next to the front, as you can see here. So let's go over to the left side now and you'll realize that it's pretty much the same thing. For some reason my cursor isn't being recorded but if you look at the drawings on the left you'll see that the front elevation is at the top, it's above the plan and the side elevation is right next to it. And we have these symbols down at the bottom. The symbol is actually uh, front uh, first angle projection symbol. What it is is there was a cone, and I'm just gonna draw it really quickly. There was a cone here, and they cut off the top of the cone. All right, so you see me using the construction lines to show you what the cone may have looked like initially. So they cut off the top of the cone, and that left. A hole at the top so if you stand to the left of the cone and look at it what you will see are two circles a larger circle representing the base of the cone and a smaller circle representing the truncated or the cut off top of the cone over to the right hand side you see more of the same it's the same symbol this is first angle projection Third angle projection is simply the opposite of it. So in third angle projection, you will have the circle first and the cone second. In our next video, I will do, uh, I'll show you what a third angle projection looks like. Okay, so we have our layouts, we understand them, but I want us to know that in orthographic projection, the elevations always line up. All right, so I'm just taking off the construction line layer right now so that it looks less confusing. And you can see here, we have our three blocks or three views, our front elevation, the plan below it, and the side elevation right next to it. I just removed the construction line so that you can see it more clearly. But everything is lined up and I will explain how they are lined up and why we line them up. Alright, so we are looking at them right now. So I was, I'm just showing that the top of the two line up, the, mid, the middle lines up the bases line up and if I turn on the construction line layer you will see that they do indeed line up and the front doesn't only align itself with the side elevation but also with the plan so you can see the right side of the front elevation is lined up with the plan they have the same length the step in the middle is lined up mm -hmm. and over to the left they are very much aligned. 
so the length of the front elevation and the length of the plan are the same. This might come as a shocker to some of you, but the plan is also aligned with, this, with the side or end elevation. So we have this 45 degree line here, and basically what happens is if you project lines from the plan, once the lines hit the 45 degree line, they change direction, they turn by 90 degrees and they go up. And that's how you get your lines to project to the end elevation. So you'll notice that the width of the plan and the width of the end elevation or side elevation, they are the same. They are both 50 millimeters in length. So this is a simpler orthographic projection. Now let's look at the more complicated drawing to our left. I do not want you to be confused. It's the same thing. It's the same principle. So I'm just taking off the construction line layer and I'm also taking off the center line layer. All right, so if you look at them now we have a front elevation or side elevation and our plan they are aligned with each other just as they were with the other drawing they are aligned here similarly now I want to prove to you that they are aligned so I'm turning on the construction line layer this is the beauty of AutoCAD. You can turn layers off and on. All right, so we have our center line on, and what this center line does is it shows you that, listen, there's a circle here or an arc or a cylinder, and um, this is the center for it. And you can see here that the center lines for our front elevation and our plan are aligned with each other. Right, they are in the same line and even between the front elevation and the side elevation the center line is still aligned and you can also see that I pulled I projected a center line from the plan to the side elevation okay so now we have our construction line layer on and I'm just gonna show you that these points are aligned. So the base of the front elevation and the base of the side elevation are at the same level. And the reason for doing this is because, let's say you have a really complicated drawing, right? Like way more complex than this. You will not be able to correctly or easily draw all the elevations if things are not aligned. Aligning your elevations simply makes it easier to get it done. That's, that's, that's the bottom line of it, right? And um, in our next video, I'm going to show you third angle projection. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And I'll also show you it with the side elevation to the left of the front because at the moment it seems like it can only go on the right side but that is not true it can go on the right or on the left All right so we'll have that in our upcoming video if you haven't as yet please like subscribe hit the notification bell and I will see you all in the next one